We were in the mid 50s. Uh, there was a lot of things happening in the in the Middle East, and from the beginnings of uh, AUB, there was a very uh, wide feeling of belonging, not to just Lebanon, to the area culturally. And uh, because also other people, students came from all over the Arab world. So there, got, there was a, a very beautiful spirit at AUB, uh, getting people from different backgrounds, but who have something in common culturally and historically. So that gave AUB a very dynamic environment, really very dynamic environment. This is why a lot of uh, the national movements in the Middle East had a very, uh, AUB influence, influenced a lot of those people who were in those movements, irrespective whether they clashed later on or did not clash later on. This is, it was the cradle of national awareness, if you want. And this is really what made UB. I mean, Professor Zray was the real mentor for thousands. This is because he's a so, so open-minded uh, professor that Lived the, he lived the history of the re region and understood exactly how the history of this region is complementary, complementary with all its components. And this opens the mind. And that uh, he was really a beacon. And then I can name Zain Zain, I can name uh, plenty of people that uh, were as Im important for all of us, each one in a different uh, way. But being in the campus, it's very enriching, very engaging with nature, and, and it helps you also uh, daydream and think about a lot of things that uh, when you are on your own, even when you are with a couple of friends, etc., it's very inspiring. It's, it feels a secure place to exchange ideas, to talk about things that we, we, we could d disagree on, but still be friends. Happy 150th anniversary, AUB.